Lucha Extreme. Check this out. Check out this belt. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Okay, so I uh, have to watch very carefully because Super Cobra is right here, but this is actually his Super Cobra. This is this. Not, I got to give this back to El Flaco Loco right here. So this is his belt. You won this, right, El Flaco I Loco? I, I did win this at, uh, at a uh, at a fair. Not too far from here, in Fresno, ah. California. So you guys are coming up last day at the fair, Super Cobra. How did you get your name? Uh, he, do he doesn't. He doesn't. I could. I could uh, translate for you. He doesn't understand. Okay. So what me. would you like me to ask him? Hey, go ahead and ask me a question. I can translate. Well, how did he get his name? All right. He wants to know how you got his name. Okay. So he only understands the timbre of my voice. He said uh, it was bestowed upon him uh, uh, on the morning of his birth, 300 years ago. Okay, this sounds legit. I get it. So you guys are coming up here. Yeah. Lance, he's, he's hungry. Too. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, he's going to he break hungry. my neck yeah. right here. <laughs> I don't want to have to get into it with them. But these guys are going to be part of the, the excitement on the last day of the fair. Right, Lance? Yeah, we're talking about the California State Fair on July 30th, 6 p.m., the Rodeo Arena. You're going to see these Lucha stars of Lucha Extreme and a lot more going on. What's so fun about uh, watching these guys and, and watching it when it happens at the fair, you get up close and personal, and some of these guys are just in your local community. This guy here, 19 and a half inch pythons, just, can, can, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Okay, he does understand pythons. All right, all right. Yeah. El Flaco Loco, yes, you sir. are also, if, can I say this, you were a teacher or are a teacher? Uh, uh, we could say that, okay. uh, that uh, I am in the, in the field of education here in Sacramento. <laughs> Believe yes. it at that. That Believe is it at that. so awesome. The classroom's but, like a Royal Rumble, right? Yeah. 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 I was say, <laughs> every day in the classroom's like a 36-person over-the-top rope battle royal. And so far, there is, reigning defending That's champ. what's so cool yeah. about these guys. You'll see them out walking. He's he's giving me the stare down. Super Cup, you okay, man? Yeah. I, I would just don't make eye contact. Okay, no, no eye contact. No. But, but also, there's a little bit of history here at Fox 40 with these guys. You, got, you used to come here when you were a kid to watch some of the wrestling Ex that took place on premises. I don't know what's in that room now, but there was a, there was a TV studio here at the Fox 40 station uh, that used to run a televised show every Saturday uh, afternoon, yeah. and it would be used to promote the big wrestling event at right. the Memorial Auditorium or the Cow Palace, and it was right here in the studio. I was seven years old. Playboy Buddy Rose told me to shut up. <laughs> Never forgot. That. There's Never so forgot. Much, it's so cool. All right, can you guys do a little smack? Like, what what are some of the moves? Like headlocks, things like that. Can can you show me a little bit? Well, I mean, I, I think not on me. I'm a little. Not on Richard. Not on Richard. A big part I'm of the delicate. wrestling yeah. is the art of the promo. Okay. Which is how to convey a message to your audience. Voice. To what? to build, and it has to do with the voice, right? Okay. Oh, this is my communication voice. This okay. Is, but then there's one that's almost kind of like my teacher voice, like Fox <laughs> Forty. I have no idea what's going on. We come in here, there's brides running down the hall. You got interns TikToking on the Instabook. I don't know what's going on with this camera guy. He's got green skin, a little B12 cranberry juice. You should clear it right up. You got Smiley McGinty over there telling me to be excited about 100 degree weather next week. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Melanie? How's it going? Anyway, you think you know insanity? Okay. Sunday, All right, I, July I gotta 30th. I got to try. State Fair. You guys can see these guys the last day of the fair. If you want real wrestling, you want to see me take on Super Cobra. I mean, uh, Super Cobra, be gentle on me on this yeah. delicate frame. If I got a shot at this, you've got to come to the State Fair. <laughs> there you go. That was really good. You got him excited. Calm down, calm down. Can, can I stand on this side? <laughs> last day of the fair, these guys in the Lucia Extreme. Don't, don't hurt me. Okay. Right Flanco Loco, Super Cabra, Lance, their promoter, and, and they're going to let me keep this. Adam, if you want to do some smack top, I can teach you how to do this. Now let's get out to the weather patio, because if we're coming your way, we're going to destroy the forecast. Richard, it is a shame and a disservice if you do not moonlight as a wrestling or NASCAR announcer or something that uses that deep voice of yours in a perfect way. So thank you very much for that great job. And like you're the wrestler, say next.